hello everyone in this video I am going to show you how to invoke or how to execute a script depending upon some events say for example I have a button with me which is an ASPX button this is a server side button why do I call it a server side button or server side control if I go for source code you can find an attribute called as run at equals to server it means that this control is server control so I got this button now I want to perform some task I want to execute some script on this button click if I double click this you will get a server side click event I don't want the server side click event If I double click this I will get button 1 underscore click which is a server side click event but I want to work with client side click event so I can write my client side click event from source this is the button in this button I can write on client click on client click is nothing but client side click event for a button on client click what is that I want to do I will just equals to I want to perform some script I want to perform some script so this time I need not to write my script in body tag I need to write my script tag in head script type equals to JavaScript and this is the normal standard in our real-time projects whenever we write some script we write it in our head tag so I'm writing a script tag and in this I'm going to define a function and that function I'm going to call on client click so how do I define functions in JavaScript it is very simple I can define it with the help of function keyword function f1 now whenever I call this function I want to perform some task here so I'll just write I'll go for document dot write hello and I'm going to call this function from here on client click f1 that's it this is very simple I'll execute this so whenever I execute this application in the page gets loaded you cannot find the script execution now script will get executed only if I click this button script got executed and it has displayed hello now I don't want to go for document dot write why because it will rewrite the complete page it will clean the complete page and rewrite it so I'll use an alert here if I want to display any message alert it is a kind of pop-up message box so anything if I write in alert it is going to display a pop-up to me now you can find it hi there if you observe whenever I click this button I say okay you are finding you find a post back because this is a server control first of all it is going to perform client actions and afterwards it will go for server side code so this is the event which is associated to a button on client click event now I will take one text box here and I will give id as txt name
now what I want is in this button click I want to display the value of this text box on this button click I want to display the value of this text box it means that I want to access the control from JavaScript like in our code behind we used to access the text txt name dot text equals to so and so I can assign the text I can read the text now in the same way in this button click I want to read the text of this text box so how do I read that this is very important interview question they may ask you how do you access the controls from JavaScript your ASP X controls from JavaScript it is very simple I'll just declare a variable variable C equals to whenever I want to access the control I'll say document dot get element by ID and in this I am going to write the ID of the control whatever I want to access dot value now value of this text box or you can say text of this text box is in C now I'll simply say plus C save this and execute I'll click the button hi there McQueen it means that I'm able to access the value of the control at client site so the standard way is to access the value of a control from client site is document dot get element by ID so before we proceed further I want to show you one peculiar behavior of this ID whenever it is in master page because we are going to develop our application using master pages so we will definitely have master pages in our application so if I have my page inside the master page this ID is not going to work why let us see that now if I right click and say view source I can find the text box here input type equals to text so whatever the ASPX controls I am dragging and dropping from the server side it is preparing an HTML text box and it, it is rendering on client side this is what normally happens whatever you see at the client side it is an HTML control even though we have taken ASP button and ASP text box it got converted to your HTML so this is the job of your server now if you see this this is the text box why because this is type is text and ID is txt name so my JavaScript is trying to identify the control with the help of this ID document is the current document dot get element by ID ID is txt name and its value I'm trying to access its value on click I'm calling this function f1 and I'm trying to access this now let us go and add a master page here and then add an item which selects that particular master page and in this child page I'm going to add text box same and a button I'll go for the source here I'm going to write on client click equals to F1 
let the id of text box be same txt name and how do i write and where should i write the javascript here same i'll copy this script tags in default three page i'll just write it in head content placeholder save this now if you observe if i try to execute this it is not going to work because the id that we have given to the text box got changed because of your master page if i right click and go for view source this page is in master page now if you observe the id id of the text box is ct100 underscore content placeholder one underscore txt name so now i need to search this control with this id i'll copy this and instead of txt name i'll write ct100 underscore content placeholder now any control in the child page you need to prefix it with this ct100 underscore content placeholder one if it is in content placeholder one and then the control name i'll save this now i'll execute it now it is going to work for me whenever i have controls in child page or i am using the concept of master pages then i need to identify the control with the help of control id and a prefix text to it now how to identify this prefix text the same way in which i have identified now so if you want to identify the control id just execute it right click and go for view source and grab the control id you can identify that so this is how you can access a control from javascript either in a normal page or in a page which has got a master to it thank you very much